It's a rainy, yucky Sunday in Northeast Ohio. Typical fall weather. But we're ready for some football. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my accountability on the ketogenic diet. Today we're gonna do a vlog for you guys. It is just gonna be like our top picks, things that we must have when we're on the keto diet. It's Sunday morning. We're gonna go get some grocery shopping done before football starts this afternoon. And we're gonna take you guys along with us. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> so we pulled up to the gas station and there's a lady here who was broke down she thinks she needs a jump so we had to take a quick little break and Mike is helping her he's gonna help her jump her car so hopefully he can get her back on the road Ah, this is on my wish list. It's $169 here. So we used to buy these Rolinos and they're just like salami and provolone cheese singles, which are great if you're traveling because they're individually packaged, but they're $9.99. And we've just found that it's a lot cheaper for us to buy a packet of salami or pepperoni and then buy cheese sticks and just roll them in there. So that's actually been better for us. Mike and I aren't super picky about like having grass fed, grass finished meat and all that. We usually just buy whatever we can get that's a good deal. So we are gonna get some of these hamburger patties because we have hamburgers a lot. We like Kerrygold butter, but for as much butter as we use, especially in our keto chows and stuff, we actually buy this Land Lakes pretty regularly. And if you look at the ingredients, which you can't really see here, it's just sweet cream and salt. It's still super clean and it works great when you need a lot of butter. Sometimes this just makes my life much simpler to have hard boiled eggs on hand, already cooked, already peeled. We always get canned chicken here. It's a lot cheaper buying it here than at some place like Walmart. They also usually carry the Tyson chicken, but if you look at the ingredients, the Tyson chicken has a lot of fillers in it. Chicken breast meat, water, and salt are the only ingredients in this BJ's brand of canned chicken. So we prefer to buy pork rinds as a snack. At this particular store, they only sell one flavor. I myself prefer barbecue, but you can get the regular pink Himalayan salt pork rinds in the larger bag. So we'll pick this up, use it to hold us over until we can order the specialty flavors that we like through Thrive Market. And we always do Epic because they have like the cleanest ingredients. There's right. no sugars, even in the flavored ones. Epic brand, the taste is phenomenal. Even your basic flavor, your salt, it just tastes better. Anytime we can get these, we do. We try to keep these on hand because again, this makes a much better snack than reaching for you and know, your football season. Feet. That's a good mention. Football season starts today and we like buffalo chicken dip and with a clean buffalo chicken dip uh, recipe and pork rinds, can't go wrong. Perfect. This store is kind of like our Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Whole Foods. We have those stores, but some of them are, you know, like a half hour drive away, and this is just right down the road from us, so it's very convenient. So this is the store where we get our smart cakes, but the last few times we've been here, they haven't had the flavors that we like. We like the cinnamon ones. I like the big chocolate chip muffins, but lately they've just had the raspberry, the lemon, and then the chocolate. It's one of the few stores around us that actually has them in the store. This is also where we get our hot dogs. So they have Polish sausage, cheddar bratwurst, the Italian style, and then classic bratwurst. They have all the sausages here, which we still have a pack left over from Labor Day at home, so I think we're okay. If you wanna get some of the cheddar, clearly. And then also we get just our regular hot dogs here. They're the grass-fed beef hot, uncured hot dogs and super duper clean ingredients on these. Grass-fed beef, water, and less than 2% of spices. Paprika, sea salt, vinegar, celery powder, garlic powder, cherry powder, and onion powder. And there's a coupon on here for 
a dollar off. That one doesn't have a coupon. Then we buy this one. No, I know, but I was gonna get two because I like to have the hot dogs. They're quick, easy dinner. Another thing that I recently started buying here are these folio cheese wraps. We like the mozzarella ones. They're good for making like cheese foldovers with pizza toppings. I wasn't a huge fan of the Parmesan. I bought those last time, but I really do like the cheddar with just some salami and turkey breast rolled in it. It's super easy, quick. I'm gonna grab some of those too. So until I get a Thrive order put in, I'm just gonna grab some of these beef sticks. Oh my goodness, honey, they only have one. Oh no, they don't, they have more. We like the Thrive Market ones and they are a little bit cheaper, but in between getting those orders from Thrive Market, which I only put in like maybe what, once a month? Yeah, once or twice. On yeah, time we like to just grab a few things to have on hand at the house for snacks. And you got the Italian style last time. Did and you I like tried them? One, and yeah, they're fine. They, they really don't taste that much different, so. Okay, well we'll get a few of each then. So they also, at this store, Seven Grains, we get a lot of like our Lily's chocolates here because they have a pretty decent sized selection of sugar-free snacks. The last time we were here, I got chocolate covered peanuts and I really liked those. I see chocolate covered almonds. Now that's different. We it's haven't new. Had... Oh, okay, I was gonna say we haven't had those yet. So we're definitely gonna get those. So put those suckers in the cart. But I don't see the peanuts I bought last time I was here. This is also the place I would normally get like my dang coconut chips. I do like these as like a crunchy snack instead of a chip. But I still have a couple bags of these at home so I don't really need these right now. And oh my goodness, they have my moon cheese. I love me some Gouda moon cheese. The pepper jack was pretty good too, but my go-to is this Gouda. It's so good. They're so crunchy. But I just... see something over here that I like, and it's called cheddar. But if I remember correctly, the cheddar had some wonky ingredients. Well, check it out real quick, and let's see how wonky it is. If you look at the moon cheese, the Gouda moon cheese, it is Gouda cheese, milk, cheese cultures, salt enzymes. That's it. So once again. Dad gets those. <laughs> the pepper jack, Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno peppers, pasteurized milk, jalapeno peppers, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. But the cheddar, for some reason, has a really long list. So let's go over this again. It is pasteurized milk, salt, cheese cultures, annatto, which is vegetable color, enzymes, the seasonings, and this is just in the seasoning, so the malodextrin, I mean, they add that to a lot of stuff in seasonings. Non-fat milk, malodextrin, butter, cream, salt, which is in the butter, salt, disodium phosphate, yeast extract, natural flavors, annatto extracts, vegetable oil. Canola, sunflower, and sunflower yeah. oil. So I guess I'll just I, have to stick to the, the yes, pork rinds. so I don't understand why they can make these so clean, and then and these have make all those. kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm a cheese freak. I mean, I eat th this bag in one sitting. Right. But again, it's football season, so to have other options besides like potato chips and stuff to snack on in the house that are cleaner are a must. It's just gonna have to be the buffalo chicken dip then for me. And they only have one bag of Gouda. <laughs> I guess that's not very Gouda. <laughs> so another thing I love about this store is that they have all, they're out of the Caesar dressing, but they have all these different kinds of Primal Kitchen dressings. I use the Primal Kitchen Ranch in my buffalo chicken dip, so we're definitely gonna grab a jar of that, and it looks like it's the last one of that too. Wow. This is also where we get our Zevia. They carry and I, and all look, these different they flavors. They have Zevia kids. Yeah. And I've never seen that before. It's basically just smaller I mean, it, cans. It's just it smaller like. cans, but I but mean, they it's, have orange cream and fruit punch, which they don't carry in the regular. Do you want to? You want to try some of the kids' ones, and we can just taste them. Mm. I know you don't like apple, but we could try the orange cream. We could try the fruit punch. That would yeah, probably be good. Because I don't think we really need it. And here's my favorite creamy root beer. I do cut it with sparkling water because it's a little too sweet for me, but we always get that here also. They also have Zevia energy drinks too. This whole. Which, if I'm gonna do energy drinks, I'm gonna go all in. You're going all in and doing the bad stuff. I just don't do energy drinks right. at all. So over here on this little end cap we found, they have the chocolate covered peanuts here. They have uh, dark covered caramels. And they also have dark chocolate covered almonds. So we're at 
our last store. We just arrived at Walmart. This is our last store for today, I should say. There are other stores that we go to, but today this is our last store. So lunch meat is a staple in our house. We eat it pretty regularly just because it's quick and easy. In the evenings, if we get home late, we can just have, like I said earlier, with the folio wraps, roll it up, add a little bit of mustard or something, and that's dinner. It's also great for lunches. I take it to work. I eat pepperoni, cheese sticks, and it just makes a nice alternative snack or something for lunch where I don't have to heat it up in the microwave and I don't have to wait for it to cook. We talked about these keto fat bombs from SlimFast in our, what, top five snacks? I think I'll so, link yes. the video um, in the corner. But they have all these different ones, but you really have to be careful because there's only a couple that are actually really clean ingredients. Like a these bars have a lot don't. of other stuff in them that you don't want to have. But we have found that the actual just plain fat bombs, not the ones that have the cookies in them, but these chocolate peanut butter and then these cookie clusters are really clean. So we usually have a box of each of those on hand at the house. This is something that we almost always buy are these water flavorings. I don't really drink them, but Mike really likes them. He used to drink a ton of pop. This is just a better option and it gets him drinking more water. We usually get these, but he says he's good on them. So we're not gonna get any of those today. This is something I get every single time I'm at the grocery store. No, I don't make my own yogurt. I buy this ratio delicious and I eat one of these almost every day. Something else that's a must-have for us is cream cheese. We use that a lot and I usually buy that at BJ's because you can get a six-pack and it's a lot more uh, reasonably priced than it is here at Walmart. A must-have for us is heavy whipping cream because we do eat a lot of keto chow and I use the heavy whipping cream in that and I also use it in other various recipes. We use these egg life wraps also for making different things at the house, so we'll pick up a package of those. Guys, I think a staple in every keto household is eggs, and normally Mike and I always go for just the cheapy, white, large eggs. But watching Joe and Rachel, they've really been stressing the pasture raised or organic. Now here at Walmart, they don't have any pasture raised and I didn't think to look when we were at Seven Grains. They said the next best thing is organic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these um, Eggland's Best Organic. Oh no, I don't want these. They say vegetarian fed and I don't want vegetarian fed. So we're gonna scratch that. We're gonna get the cheap eggs. what it is. And I've already told you guys that we don't have a creamy yet so I haven't started making our own ice cream. So we usually either get this keto brand ice cream which Mike really likes because they have the cookie dough which is his favorite or sometimes I will get like the Rebel brand but I still have a couple at home so I'm not going to get any but Mike's going to grab a couple of the cookie doughs. You have one and I have one. Why did somebody eat my other one? I had two. There's only one in the door. Huh. So you better get some. A lot of getting is good. <laughs> Something that we buy almost every single time we go grocery shopping are these Colby Jack cheese sticks. We eat them every day, just about, but I just recently bought some, so we're actually still good on that, but I wanted to show you guys that that's a staple in our house. This is the kind of bacon that we get. We've just looked at the ingredients on all these different kind of bacons and obviously none are going to be perfect but we found this to be some of the cleanest bacon and we just like the way it tastes. We'll do these on the Blackstone with some butter and Italian seasonings. It's delicious. We got to check out the steaks. We're gonna get a couple of those. It's just the two of us, so. And usually, anytime we're here, we pick up one of these. Um, it's called like a saddle bag. It's like a three pack of organic grass-fed ground beef. We just always keep ground beef in the house no matter what. So guys, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that peanut butter is my nemesis. I just love it so much. And this is actually what I usually get. It's the Teddy Super Chunky Peanut Butter. It's just roasted peanuts and salt. 
And I am gonna go ahead and get one of these today because they haven't had it for a while. They've actually been out, so I'm just gonna buy one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this Keto Ratio Granola. I like it on my yogurt. Okay guys, so you can see back there, Mike is loading the rest of our groceries into the car and we're done for today. Um, we're running really far behind schedule and football has already started. So we're gonna try to get home and get these groceries unloaded as quickly as possible. So real quick, I'm gonna jump into my struggles and successes for the week while he's doing that. Okay guys, never mind. Mike's done loading up the groceries. My battery died in my camera. Had to change that out. Boy, it's really coming down. It's raining again. So my struggles and successes for the week, I ate out twice this week I do believe. We had Chick-fil-A one night and this sounds like a repeat from another video. I'm having deja vu. But I did a Cobb salad with the extra grilled chicken on it. That was it that night. The other time we went out was just yesterday. We had our fantasy football draft and the place where we have it is the place where I like to get wings. So I had wings. As far as struggles and successes, I stayed on plan all week. So I was super happy with that. I got up this morning and I got on the scale and I weighed in at 176.2. So, thank you, dear. So since my last video, I lost four tenths of a pound. So just about a half a pound. Again, it's coming off really slow, but every week I seem to have a little bit of a loss. So I'll continue to take that. And that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you from me <sighs> for coming along on this wonderful rainy, journey. Rainy, yeah. yucky day. It's a rainy day. Grocery shopping is not fun. You know that as well as we do but it's one of our least favorite chores it's but it one has of those to things be done. you have to do right we appreciate you coming along and just kind of seeing how we do it what we do what we get the things that are must have in our in our kitchen so we, we used that. to go grocery shopping even less than we do now because we literally ate out 90 percent of oh, the yeah. time we ate out all the time and i know we still eat out a lot you guys see that it's not nearly as often and i try to stay on plan even when i'm eating out whereas before when we would eat out it was just carbs and junk right all the time now we still spend all the same amount day. of money because the prices have gone up yeah our grocery budget is high <laughs> and i and i know you guys are all dealing with this you know people say you know eating the junk is cheaper and in some aspects it is but in the long run it's just it's not worth it no. so we definitely spent quite a bit of money today that'll sustain us i don't go grocery shopping every week i just don't have the energy for that we have too many other things going on to make time on a weekly basis to go grocery shopping it's just not going to happen so when we do go it's kind of a haul hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified the next time we upload a video and I hope to see you guys next week. Please let me know how your weeks are going. I love to hear your struggles and successes for the week. Thanks guys. Talk to you next week. Bye. See ya.